tutorial we are going to see about the dedicated description on uh, diagnostic session control that is of service id 10 and uh, preview uh, you have seen already the in the previous tutorial so i guess you might understand so what is diagnostic uh, session control and what it will do yeah this is just a preview what we done it's just simply uh, recap like uh, the diagnosis session control is used to switch one session to another session that is what its main purpose so it have uh, some, some many sub functions so in this we have mentioned only four sub functions that is default programming extended diagnostic and safety system diagnostics only four session we have mentioned quickly go into the uh, how it will transmit the message yeah post the uh, for the positive response uh, that is you are just sending 20 10 and 1 they you are getting the re response of, for the request 2 10 and 1 you are getting the response of uh, 2 50 and 1 and sub function you are using is uh, that is default session as sub function 0 1 then the PCA the 0 2 is a PCA length and uh, 50 is a positive response so this is what the um, positive request and res positive response you are getting for the respective request that is 2 10 and 0 1 as you made aware 2 is a PCA length that is the length of the two things like 10 and 1 10 is nothing but the service ID that is uh, diagnostic session control and 1 is the sub function instead of default session we can use any other sub function but service ID and PCA length are unchangeable that you, you are aware I guess okay so this is just a very simple example uh, for uh, before again entering into the description of uh, diagnostic session control I gave one a very simple example so I guess if you are a beginner in this unified diagnostic service I know it may it may not be sufficient so but you have to somewhat understand theoretically then I will discuss about uh, how it is implemented so as of now this is well enough for the beginners or if you are somewhat a moderate level you can catch up you can catch up with the other sub functions also as the diagnostic session control is one of the basic service id we have used ever in the in a unified diagnostic services so other sub functions see we have discussed only four sub function we are using but see apart from the four sub function we have some other sub function also see sub function zero zero that is reserved then sub function one two three four we already discussed and again see sub function 0 5 to 3 f also we can use that also reserved then 40 and 5 f 42 5 f that is vehicle manufacturing specific for example if you are working under the ferrari or hyundai or whatever it is bmw benz they might have their own specific standard so they can use the 42 5 f standard they can use as that is as a vehicle manufacturer specific then 60 to 70 that is a system supply specific so who is system system who uh, system is nothing but the system supplier is nothing but the who providing the system like from broadcam or some other uh, basic uh, stuff ecu design and modeling whoever doing the particular thing so they might be considered as a system supplier so for their specific they should they will use some uh, standards that is called 60 to 70 and again 7f is nothing but a reserved one moreover we are considered as a negative response here so these are all the sub functions you should aware of whenever you are uh, getting your free time you have to go through what are the vehicle manufacturers using what are the sub functions those things also you have to gather for your future purpose and uh, this mnemonic is nothing but if you if you are a developer you will get on data sheet in the data sheet you will get these things like for default session they will they will not write default session everywhere they will write ds prgs can uh, complete the uh, entire service id uh, within two months i'm hoping so but i need your support like uh, please you can share the uh, channel you can just uh, subscribe to make people to understand uh, moreover the why the why to I ask you to subscribe the main reason is um, we are just trying to go to some workshop a real-time workshop like Volvo or BMW or uh, Audi so some of the service station and we are trying to capture the how the unified diagnostics or onboard diagnostics or re remote diagnostics how they are using in real-time view 
so once they, if you watch the real time stuff it will be very use, useful for you to read or it will be very useful for you to work under the testing environment or developing environment so that will happen once the channel reaches 2k subscribers that's what uh, i'm spreading you to share and subscribe uh, because oh, we need we need certain standard to approach them so the basic standard is at least 2000 followers if we have then people are ready to uh, market their product so that's the one reason we are asking to subscribe so you can please share and subscribe and click the like button if you like and please be stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials on unified diagnostic services as well as in the other sections like uh, uh, snack time with Jackie or can or uh, another embedded stuff also so around four um, sections have been divided in this channel so four will be helpful for you and you can please share this to your college students also who are studying your relatives or friends that the two minute snack with uh, techie will be very useful for the college students or engineering graduates so bye bye catch you in next video